Recording in progress. Satnam, everyone. It's Candice from Soulfire Social. Let's go ahead and just get right into it by tuning in, bringing our hands out in front of us, rubbing our palms together, creating warmth, creating heat, and bringing that heat right on into prayer pose at the heart center, thumbs connect to the sternum, fingers pointing up and out. And as we close our eyes, just adjusting our posture here. If you need to do a little wiggle, make sure that your sit bones are connected. You can feel those roots down to the earth, opening up through the heart space, shoulders are dropped, the tilt in the chin, the Jalandhara Bandha, eye focus, third eye. Just make your face very, very soft crown is reaching up towards the heavens and let's just take a few breaths here in and out through the nose your own pace just bringing in being conscious of that fresh prana flowing in and releasing any stale energy in the body And then together, let's do a cleansing breath in through the nose all the way up to the top. And a big sigh out. And then let's inhale to tune in with the Adi Mantra and the Mangala Charm. Om Namo. Jugad Gurename, Sat Gurename, Siri Gurude Vename, Ad Gurename, Jugad Gurename, Sat Gurename, Siri Gurude Vename, Ad Gurename, Jugad Gurename, Sat Gurename, Siri Gurude Vename. Inhale and hold the breath. Just being conscious of the vibration that you're creating in your body and your being, connecting up to the higher realms and surrounding yourself with beautiful circle of protection. Releasing the breath. And let's go ahead and bring our hands then on to the chest for a moment. And <laughs> we might be going inside. <laughs> let's see how this goes for a moment. Inhaling in, big sigh out. Ha. Inhaling in, big sigh out. And one more. Inhaling in. And a big sigh out. Beautiful. So we're going to get started and we'll see how this goes. I've got kids who are about to play in the pool. Is it bothering you right now? Are you okay? It's okay. Okay. Let's try it. We'll give it a shot. Is it okay for you, Charlotte? All right. So I'm going to step back. And so 
<clears throat> Today's class, we're going to be working on two different little kriyas. And what's really nice is that they are really beautiful for the first one is eliminating tension and pain. And it really helps to release any stress and tension from the chest, the back to the lower back and to the hips. And then we go into a Kriya for developing strength and balance. So we get to kind of release all of that tension and then we kind of come back into balance. It's interesting that this book that we're working on, um, you know, this self-knowledge is a lot about finding our strength within. And I really am enjoying that because it's not quite as crazy as we would think it was going to be, but it's, uh, it's finding the strength and power within. But first let's release and eliminate tension and pain. So we're going to start off coming onto a platform. Good morning. And, um, oops, eliminating tension and pain. Okay. We're going to start off with our feet out here and, um, it's coming into a platform in a way where we're lifting up through the hips here to make a really beautiful straight line. And then we're dropping down and we allow ourselves a full drop. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And really let yourself do that full movement. Great, that's a great option. If that doesn't work with your legs there, you can come up to your platform like this. It's interesting, this one's a little harder for me. I can't seem to get my booty up. But if you can have your legs high, then you're coming up, opening up through the heart, opening up through the throat. Then we drop down, we sit forward, inhale up. And exhale it down. We're going to be here for about four minutes. So Just find your minutes. breath. Focus is on the third eye. Beautiful. This eliminates all the tensions for a whole week. Oh, you 
Just be really in your body. Let's inhale up. Hold the breath, squeeze the Mula Bandha, holding the breath. I focus third eye, you're gazing up to the sky. Hold it. Slow release. Just sit up straight, keep your eyes closed. Hands are on both thighs. Here, visualize those roots down to the earth. Breathe. Just breathe. Coming into real awareness with the physical body and with the breath. Now let's come back to this posture. Raise your left leg up, and then we're going to dip down. It's only for one minute, okay? If that's not an option, bend your knee, lift it up and down, okay? Just one minute, left leg. good, doesn't it? <laughs> we have poor Nancy here has been kayaking for a whole weekend and we're giving her mean shoulder exercises right to begin. Poor thing. Okay, so this one, we come up into a cobra so your legs can be apart or together. We're just coming down, third eye, up, down, bending the elbows, come down, and up. And down. Um, we're going to incorporate a breath of fire in this in, a, in one minute. Yeah. Okay, so up and down. We really want to stretch the armpits here. So once you get that movement, let's switch it over where I just want to do. Sorry, I want to see which hand. Put one hand over the left. I wanted to, sorry. My bad. Right hand comes on top of the left. Sorry, we're gonna flow with it this way. Now that you've got your motion, then it comes down, third eye touches, 
Inhale up, cobra. Make sure you open up through the throat. Third eye gaze is up. Are Down. The, are the hands in the center? Hands are in the center. Up. Hands are right in the center. So right hand over left, right in the center, opening up. If it's too much pressure on your lower back, open the legs, come down, bend the arms, top the head, and then we're gonna add that breath of fire. So keep going. Remember, if you're pregnant, first couple days of your moon, you can just do a regular long deep breath, but let the rest of us get started. Take a flow with your movement. Don't forget to pump your navel.
and then together we'll inhale up, stretch through the armpits, hold the breath, squeeze Mulavanda, bring the energy up from the root, up through the chakras, gazing out the third eye, even open up the throat, gaze up at the sky, give that cervical spine a little bend, release slow, lock, breath, down, take your hands to the back, put your head to the side, and rest for a moment, just let it go, let it go, beautiful, if you need to go in a child's pose to release the lower back, do that, that's absolutely okay. rounded lips. Big sigh out. Ah, let it go. Now, we're going to be coming back up into a cobra or a sphinx. Let me show you. It's only for a minute and a half, but if you're coming up into your cobra, you're going to be here and then you're going to be lifting the left leg up from the hip. That's going to be for a minute. Then we're going to do the right hip for 30 seconds. Now, that's gonna put some pressure on that lower back. We're hoping to release the tension, but if you it's too much for you, come into a sphinx and do it that way. Just make sure that it's not just this little part of your calf, it's the whole hip you're lifting from the hip. So you find your posture and let's get in one minute on the left and 30 seconds on the right, I'll direct you. Inhaling up and down. let it go allow yourself just a moment to balance with both hips just to see how that feels and then from whichever position you're in start to raise the right leg you have 30 seconds from the hip inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down Just breathe and lift 
up on an inhale. Make sure that hip is lifted. Squeeze and hold. Release, flip over on your back. Oh, it's gonna feel good. Bring the knees in. Yeah, just bring those knees right on in. Oh, and rock from side to side. That feels so good. Let yourself just flow with that for a moment. And then just coming to a stable place where you can have your hands on your shin, make a little ball here. Inhale, bring your nose to your knees and hold the breath and squeeze Molabanda. Release, let the legs come all the way out straight. Now here, if you want to have your hands under your buttocks, you absolutely can, but maybe try first without. But you see, so if the legs come out straight, they're up about six inches, we're pointing, we're flexing. We're pointing, we're flexing, that's it. Inhale, point, flex, exhale, point. Rest of the body is just strong, beautiful. Sat Nam. If that's too hard on your core, start to lift your legs up or do one leg at a time. But we are here for, let's see, what's the magic number? Only a minute and a half. You got it. If you can, down low, just to have the experience as we get closer to the end here. Strong breath, strong move. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Seconds. Stay strong in your core. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't drop out of it. Stay strong in it. Inhale. Hold, squeeze Mulabanda here. See how long you can hold. And when you release, really let it go. Feel all the fire you created in that navel, the sacral chakra, all those beautiful fiery waters. Let them flow down root to toe up into your heart and just lay here for a moment palms can be facing up a little mini corpse pose mm -hmm. so beautiful so nice okay Bring the knees into the chest, okay? Knees into the chest. Palms are down onto the earth. Flip them over so they're touching the earth. And then the legs go out straight and they come in. Try and keep, bring them all the way in. Try and let them go out. Really works the core. We're here for two and a half minutes. You can go slow, you can go fast. 
This is gonna feel so good on your back, everybody. Let's do this. Inhale in, exhale out, move. Let go, tension and pain. Get rid of that back, hips. Ten more, come on. Fast, strong core, strong core. You're gonna have a really nice long break after this. Okay, bring those knees in. Bring those knees in. Allow your arms to wrap around. Just holding yourself in here. Holding yourself in. Yeah, just giving yourself a little hug. And I'm gonna read this to you because for the next 15 minutes, you're gonna be right here. You're gonna be chanting before we move on to the next Kriya. And we're chanting, singing along to this Chattara Chattara Vadate, and just taking in these words. This mantra is used to remove fear, anxiety, and phobias. It's, a, it's to make one experience victory. It bypasses our fears and doubts and helps to bring courage and strength from deep within. Tapping into your personal power, your victory, your inner strength. You will get the words, but it's basically chatara chatara varate, chatara chatara bugate. You'll find the rest. Hum it, make some sound through it. If you don't know the words, learn it, bring it in. And the words mean you are pervading in all four directions, the enjoyer of all four directions. You are self-illuminated, you are profoundly beautiful, and you are united with all. Destroyer of the torments of birth and death, the embodiment of mercy, you are ever with us. You are the everlasting giver of indestructible power. So, 15 minutes here holding yourself locking your arms around your knees this is how we do it
arms on your legs. You can pull them close to your chest so you feel your thighs as you're chanting. And just, if you don't get all the words, hum it. Learn it this today. through your hips if you're folded really tight and especially the front of the thighs.
vibration high. breath and trying to hold for a minute I'll give you the minute count if you release before then just wait for us to begin again we're doing it twice you're holding the position let's go ahead and inhale through the nose and hold remember if you feel like you need to exhale take another breath it helps our breath with three just simple breaths before we begin again. yourself on your spine. Get that energy shifted. Come up into seated and immediately start to shake your arms and your body. Get all of that energy from that chatra. Shake it, shake it. Shake so your arms so that your whole body shakes.
slowly start to shake it down. Let your fingertips touch here on the sides of your mat. Oh, it feels good to open those hips, doesn't it? All right. Find your just central posture. Really sit like a yogi. Get yourself back into alignment. And go ahead and bring your right hand up. Close off your right nostril. I want you to inhale through the left side. And then with your ring finger, sorry, with your middle finger, close off the left nostril, opening the right, exhale out the right. All the way. Then close off the right, inhale left, all the way. Let it be so full. Fill yourself up with that fresh prana. Then close with the middle finger. Mercury, release left. All the way out. Close the right. Inhale left. And just continue. Beautiful. Continue. We're starting to develop strength and balance. If you want to bring your left hand off the earth and into a Gyan Mudra, do that. Breaths are long, they are deep, they are complete. Balancing the Ida, the Pingala, left and right, masculine, feminine. side, the feminine side, we're exhaling out the sun side, the masculine. there. A few more breaths. 
out to the right. Release the right arm, bring it down into Gyan Mudra. And just sit with that for a moment, breathing in both nostrils. balance and strength. Let's take a nice long deep inhale. Hold that at the top with the eye focus on the third eye. Extra sip rounded lips. Big sigh out. Ah, bring your fingertips down to touch on either side. Then flip them. We're going to sweep up through the aura on an inhale through the nose. Inhale up. Touch those palms above the head. Extra sip rounded lips. Reach, squeeze Mulabandha here. We take the breath from the Ida and the Pingala, the right, the left. We squeeze at the base to drive that Kundalini energy up the central channel, igniting through the Shushmuna. Visualize it just coming up, breaking through blocks, rising, rising, rising. Slow release through the nose as we bring the prayer down, the lock on leash as you can feel the opening into the energy of Mother Earth. Let yourself be open through the root. Bring the palms to the heart. Connect thumbs and sternum. Hold. Breathe through the nose. Feel your prayer rise at your heart center. Hold that for a minute as you expand that prana through the front of the chest, the back of the chest. Flip your prayer. Bring the energies down through the lower triangle. Connecting, coming home. Beautiful. Then we sit in our easy pose and we grab our toes we grab our toes and we're going to be rocking back up and down the spine but not just that we're going to be doing a breath of fire while we do it so you might want to start by just getting into your breath of fire while sitting hold and you have to hold the toes this is an important part of it that you do hold on to your toes so we start with our breath of fire then we start our rock and roll. Might take you a few tries to get yourself fully moving with that, but it says move fast. We've got two minutes here. Let's go. Do you do the same leg on top? Whole time, same leg on top. Yes, exactly. And you can do a lotus if you prefer. So if you'd rather do a full lotus, that's fine. doesn't say if you want to switch legs halfway through you can do that too I'm just gonna try not to swing myself into the pool today <laughs> that'll be good <laughs> that's one way to go viral right <laughs> maybe I should try it <laughs>
Perfect your posture. Hold. Navel to the spine. Release. Pull back into a child's pose for a moment. Let the buttocks hit the hips. Let the forehead hit the earth, let the hands stay in front so you can get that beautiful stretch, drop the forehead to the earth. I want you to take three breaths here, your own pace, inhaling in, allowing yourself to be conscious of the spread of that prana. I want you to bring it all the way down into the pelvic bowl, let it flow up through the whole body until it comes up to the shoulders and you connect at your third eye, releasing slowly through the nose. So three times, really deep conscious breaths.
when you are done, keep the eyes closed, but slowly come up into an easy pose. Keep all of that energy with you. Oh, beautiful. Just bring it up. You're going to feel it when you bring it up. Open your eyes for this one, and we're probably. Oh, somebody dropped off of here. Hold on. Karen drops off there a lot. Okay. So, this one's interesting. Let's see how we do. It invites us to go into a lotus pose. So, I'm just going to show different variations. It invites us to lift up the buttocks and then bow down and tilt the head. Now, <laughs> going to require my knees to be on a mat for sure. Keep the buttocks lifted and bow the head. So it's not inviting us to sit back down. So it's inviting me to lift my butt up, come bow down, and then come back up. And then lift, bow down, and come back up. Now there is no way that I have enough strength to come all the way back like that. So I'm going to need to remain in a pretty good tilt to keep that going. So I come up, I lean, I can probably do that, and then bow down. My buttocks don't go back down. Easy pose, or just one leg up. You're coming up, tilt it down, come up, tilt it down. So any of those variations, if you need to be here, if that's just too much for your wrist, then come down, just bow, lift your buttocks up, and just try and keep them up a little bit, yeah? Okay, so we do the best we can. Um, it is four minutes, so, you know, there's a little activity here. All right. Let's get into this. Okay. Wow. Four minutes. Four minutes. All right. Four minutes. Okay, let's go.
Everybody sit up. Allow the buttocks to drop. Hands come out, palms open up those fingertips to the side, releasing any tension, sitting them real straight. Let's inhale here. Hold the breath, squeeze, mula bandha, bringing up that beautiful energy from the red of the root up to the crown. Really coming into a place of balance and strength. Tune in to that warrior spirit of yours. The open heart, the clear mind, the knowing, the sentience. Hold. the lock, release the breath, let yourself connect down, flip the palms, inhale, sweep up, connect at a prayer above your head, extra sip, rounded lips, hold, squeeze mula bandha here, locks, breath, energy, moving, shifting, getting you really strong. Slow release through the nose to the heart. Another inhale here. Flip the prayer, bring it down through the lower triangle, connect to the earth. Fingertips come to the side. And then we find our way back down onto our backs. And this is where we're going to really enjoy three and a half minutes of our own stretching, but vigorous stretching, cat stretches, moving, doing a baby poses and things that are gonna really just stretch and activate whatever feels good. You have three and a half minutes to stretch every part of your body. Yeah, enjoy it. got stuck, unstick it.
Okay, now just shake the body vigorously as much as you can. You're on your back, just shake, 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 shake. Get all of that energy. Slow it down. Lie with your legs straight out. Put your hands on your belly. And just for one moment, one minute, breathe. Focus only on the navel, bringing the prana all the way down. And can tune into the color yellow, the fire of that third chakra, Manapura, warrior spirit, confidence, strength, and balance. You are strong. You are balanced. You are strong, you are balanced. Feel that navel. You are pervading in all the four directions. You are the enjoyer in all the four directions. You are self-illuminated profoundly beautiful and united with all breathe that in self illuminated profoundly beautiful and united with all start to rock your knees into the chest rocking yourself up into a seated position as we close our session with our longtime sun allowing ourselves to give love and light to ourselves opening up to each other to the collective coming down to reiterate our truth is our name. Find your peace.
Take a nice long deep inhale and bring your prayer over your head. May all beings know peace. May all yoga practice contribute to the well-being of all. We exhale, bringing our prayer through the chakras. Peace to all. Light to all. Truth to all. And love to all. Bow down, giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky, blessing you, blessing your prayers. We rise up and we greet one another with our Satnam. 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 Hmm. Ah. Satnam.